so I'm super excited because Yuko is going to be kind enough to show us how to make tonkatsu. And tonkatsu is simply, she laughed the last time we did it, it's kind of sad. You gotta laugh again. No, no laughing. Tonkatsu is simply uh, pork chops that are sliced thinly and maybe pounded out a tiny bit, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then breaded in panko, which I got at Trader Joe's. And it's really sad because I also just told you that she is obsessed with Trader Joe's, TJ Maxx, and Whole Foods. And that is the only reason she came to California, besides seeing me and being forced to do a video. So um, anyway, so tonkatsu is delicious. And one of the things I like about it is it reminds me of a dish that I used to eat as a child in Colombia. We bread ours in cornflake crumbs with a little bit of cumin and salt and pepper. So it's slightly different flavor, but similar concept. And then the Germans make Wiener Schnitzel. And I really, have you tried Wiener Schnitzel? No. It's the same thing, except for without panko, because that's not mm -hmm. German, it's breadcrumbs. But it's delicious. The same. Yuko is whipping up one egg. With a little tiny bit of water. I would say that is less than a teaspoon of water. So now she is going to... No. no. <laughs> we all mess that up occasionally. She's going to put it, dredge it in a little flour. I don't know who made up the word dredge or why, but that's what she's doing. Got to get the flour kind of all over the place because this is what's going to allow the egg to stick. She's shaking off the excess. So now she's going to stick it in the egg just for a second. Yes. Nice. And we have seasoned our pork chop. I would also probably season the panko, but she's not doing that. And so this is her show today. So I didn't do it. Panko. So apparently you need to start with a lot more panko than I started from. Because you have to really coat that sucker. That's good. Wow, that looks very pankoed. Get up in there. You go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready to fry up and eat these babies. Thank you, Yuko. These babies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting ready to fry up the tonkatsu. And uh, one of the ways that Yuko knows if the oil is ready or not is by throwing a couple pieces of panko in the oil. And if it fries up like that, then it's ready. So we have to be very careful. Anytime you're going to be putting anything in a pan, let's see if she does it the safe way. She did. You put it in away from you. So the oil looks really yellow here because I didn't realize I didn't have enough canola oil. So I used half canola and half olive oil. So this is sort of a Spanish tonkatsu. I'm sure it'll be delicious because in Spain they fry everything in olive oil. But we recommend you use canola in the future because it has less flavor and so you'll have more of a pure flavor of pinko. Yuko is nodding yes right now. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know how long it takes, Yuko. How many minutes do you think? I never time anything, but I use my common sense timer. Okay, it depends on the color. That's the thing too. It's like we can never never say, oh, it's two minutes because maybe your pan conducts heat better. Maybe your stove heats higher. Maybe at your high elevation. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're a Martian. Who knows? Many things. Mm -hmm. But uh, so you just watch it. You know, anytime you're frying anything, don't step away. Don't go brush your teeth. No. <laughs> yeah, she agrees because she tried it once, I think. I'm kidding. No. Um, but, uh, you know, watch it. Starting to get a little brown on the sides, and this is when you would say, maybe I'll check. Look underneath. Is that ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, flip it over. Oh, I hope it doesn't explode. I would honestly cook it for maybe one more, one or two more minutes, depending on the color of the panko, because I am very against overcooking pork. It's a travesty. It's a little botulism between friends. That's it. Now comes the moment of truth. So we just, I took a bite of the other one and I was like, well, honestly, I think that we should have put a little bit of salt in the panko. And she was like, no. <laughs> so, and I, the reason is that we're going to be eating this with tonkatsu sauce that she brought me from Japan. But you could probably get it here too at your Japanese grocery store because we all have one on the corner. But some of you do, but I'm sure you can also get it online and I will include that on my post. Mm -hmm. So before we eat, I also want to show you what else she brought me from Japan. <laughs> she brought me this sauce. 
um, the most famous and popular sauce for beef. It's the most famous and popular sauce for beef. Go figure. I can't wait to use it. And you just dip the beef. And I love dipping like a little bit. Very exciting. And it weighs a ton. So this is the reason she didn't bring running shoes. <laughs> she sacrificed because she could bring all the this stuff. <laughs> the reason is she doesn't like to run. So she also brought ponzu. By the way, you know I'm a frustrated Japanese person, so I just I like to say ponzu. She doesn't say it like that, but ponzu. <laughs> and I love using ponzu. Um, we marinate. Um, what do we marinate with? Oh, skirt steak in ponzu or flank steak in ponzu. I've never been a marinator. But those two cuts of meat go really well with this. And she brought me this stuff to add to the six pounds that I've already gained in the past month. It is um, a sesame, deep roasted sesame dressing for salad. I love it. When I go to the Japanese restaurant, I get extra sesame dressing, I get a little salad, and I eat my salad on my bowl of rice. Everybody thinks I'm weird. Do you do that? You salad on the rice? Whatever, I do it, so it's cool. So this is what's beautiful. I think that this is a lovely dish actually to make as an appetizer at a party because you cut it up like this, mm. but then you put the little chopsticks and people can grab a piece. Show me how you do it. Mm -hmm. I've never used so many chopsticks in my life. So good. Mm -hmm. Fried pork. What's not to like? Right? Thank you very much, Yuko. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Done.